This is an installation video of a PL259 supplied by MaxGain Systems at MGS4U.com onto RG8X coaxial cable supplied by the Wireman at TheWireman.com. We start out by placing the UG176 reducer onto the cable. When we separate out the outer shell of the PL259, we simply unscrew it. Place the outer shell onto the coax. Grab the main body of and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Place a mark or just use your thumbnail to mark where to cut the black jacket of the coax just below the second knurled ring but above the solder holes. Grab your utility knife to cut around the coax where you marked it. Only cut through the black jacket, do not cut through the braid inside. Pull off the piece of jacket you just cut. Now grab the reducer that we just put on the cable and slide it up to the bottom where you cut the jacket. Begin separating the braid into their individual strands. The better you do at this step, the less opportunity for a short later on. Fold, and s fold the separated strands of braid back onto the reducer. Next you want to grab your diagonal cutters and trim the strands of the braid back just above the threads of the reducer. This allows easy installation of the PL259 main body. Grab your knife or utility blade and cut through the insulator of the coax about an eighth of an inch above the reducer. This reduces the chance of a short later on. Do not cut through or damage the center conductor of the cable. While removing the cut portion of the insulator from the cable, be sure to pull and twist to the right or clockwise, which will twist the center conductor into one that is easy to manage. Be sure the center conductor is straight. Grab your PL259 inner body and twist it to the right or clockwise onto the reducer and cable. You should see the center conductor of the cable perfectly aligned with the end of the PL259 center pin. If there is any extra, just trim it off with your cutters. Make sure you have a safe place to solder. I am using a larger pair of diagonal cutters. When you start soldering, be sure to tin the iron, place a small amount of solder onto the tip of the iron, and wipe off both sides. Now place a small amount of solder back onto the tip of the iron and touch it to the center pin. Special note, make sure to heat the pin before touching the solder to it. Do not get impatient and let the iron melt the solder. This allows for cold solder joints which are not ideal. You must let the work melt the solder. The center pin of the MaxGain Systems PL259 can withstand the heat of any iron and will not melt like others. It just needs a little bit of solder to seal it and make a good connection. Now wipe and retin your soldering iron. We are moving on to the holes around the body. Touch your iron to one side of the holes which allows for half of the hole to remain free. Once the work is hot, melt the, melt the solder, place the solder on the work, but not the iron. Use just enough solder to fill the hole. We want to repeat this three more times and fill in every hole around the PL259.
Now we want to test our work. Make sure we do not have an internal short. Grab an ohm meter and set it to the lowest ohm scale that it has. Touch the two leads together and it will show little to no resistance. This is what you do not want to see in your installation. Touch one lead to the body and one lead to the center pin of the conductor. My meter is reading that there is infinite resistance, so my installation is working perfectly. Be sure to turn off the meter when done to conserve its battery. Now be careful and do not touch the main body of the PL359, but grab the outer shell we placed on the cable earlier and slide it up the, up the PL359 body. It will transfer heat quickly, so let the connector cool before attempting this. You have just completed the installation of a PLT59 connector onto RGAX coaxial cable.